Hello, I am Silent E. I come at the end of a bass word. Some people call me Magic E because I can do several things even though I am completely silent. But make no mistake, I am always busy doing one job, if not more. In the English language, I am not there for decoration. I am there to work. Today, I am going to teach you one of the many magical jobs I can do. I volunteer to be at the end of a base word to keep the letters V, U, and I from being at the end. Just like the snobby letter J, the letters V, U, and I are not at the end of English base words. Maybe it's because the letter V may just fall over. <gasps> oh, dear! Perhaps letter U has a hard time sitting still. I like rockin' and rollin'. Perhaps letter I just needs a buddy. I just feel all alone at the end. Here is an example. This base word is spelled F. I. V. E. Look at the end. There I am, right after the letter V. I am there, so V isn't at the end. Not only that, I am busy doing another job. Do you know what other job I am doing? Correct. I am not only keeping the letter V from being at the end, I am jumping over one consonant and making the vowel long. So how do we pronounce this word? You got it. This word is five. Here is another base word spelled H-A-V-E. Do you know why I am at the end? Am I a decoration? No, of course not. When I am silent at the end of a base word, I am always busy doing work. What job am I doing in this word? You remembered. I am keeping the letter V from being at the end. Do you know how to pronounce this word? It's a very common word in the English language. Correct. This word is pronounced have. So am I doing two jobs or just one? Listen. <gasps> ah, v. Correct. I am doing just one job. The vowel A is making its short sound. Ah. I am not jumping over one consonant and making the vowel long. Just because I can do something magical doesn't mean I have to, but I am here, keeping V from being at the end. I'm thankful you're here, Silent E. I also keep the letter U from being at the end of English words. Even though we see words like this, flu, and through, these are shorter ways of spelling influenza, like when you are sick, and through, like drive through. Just like the letter V, I come after the letter U at the end. Here is an example. This base word is spelled G-L-U-E. Look at the end. There I am, right after the letter U. I am there, so U isn't at the end. You try now. Which is the correct way to spell blue? Correct. B-L-U-E is how we spell blue. I am keeping the letter U from being at the end of the base word. Thanks for keeping me still, Silent E. One more letter I keep from being at the end of English base words is the letter I. With the exception of shortened words like hi, which is short for hello, and borrowed words like ski. Let me show you what I mean. 
The base word P-I-E is pronounced pi. I am there because nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs almost always need at least three letters. Here are a few other words. Guy, lie, tie. I think you get the idea. So letter I never has to be lonely at the end of English base words. That's a relief. Thanks, Silent E. Let's review one of my magical jobs as a Silent E at the end of a base word. I volunteer to be at the end of a base word to keep the letters V, U, and I from being at the end. Remember, in the English language, I am not there for decoration. I am always doing at least one job, sometimes more.